Okay, so we are going to wait actually till these people pass. So we are in uh, Larry Penny Thompson Park, and there's been uh, rumors on Backpack Universe or Uverse, whatever that site is called, uh, stating that um, the campground seems to be haunted. Um, so we're gonna be walking the trails that are right next to the campsite and see what we find. Calling out to all spirits that reside at the Larry and Penny Thompson Park. We'd like to speak to you. My name is Lisette, and that's Landry trying to keep up with me back there. We're going to be on this two mile trail, so we welcome you to walk with us and tell us what you're doing here. Is there anyone there that can speak to us? Can you state your name? Can you come close to us? Come real close to where I'm at. We may not be able to keep up with you. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. I'm going too far. <laughs> we need this. We haven't been in the best of shape lately. But that's all going to change. Alright, so we're going to continue this EVP session. Landry's going to follow his ghost investigating rules of staying quiet. Why? Not a single word. We can hear you. I'll be able to ask questions. And I'll be able to listen back for the answer. So it's recording right now. What is your name? Seem to come back another day and try to maybe walk around the campground. The thing with the ghost stories in the campground that I'm not too convinced is the fact that campers have complained about missing items from their campsite. The only problem with that is it's still Miami, so you know, usually it's not paranormal. So, I'm not too convinced with just missing items from a campsite that could be thieves. Um, one gentleman in one of the stories stated he felt like five people outside his tent trying to claw his way in. You can imagine how scary that is. I mean, animals alone, raccoons even, just that can be scary at night, so I can't imagine five human figures trying to claw into your tent. Is there anyone with us? Can you walk with us? Keep us company. So, let's see if we can listen back. to all spirits at Larry Penny Thompson Park. Have you arrived? Are you near us?
Approaching, let me get this digital recorder going again. So, we're starting another session here at Larry Penny Thompson, and we are approaching the abandoned water slides. I think I've been here every season, and I've never seen this thing running. Kind of sad for those campers who come all the way from everywhere expecting to be able to swim in the lake. So it brings my curiosity to wonder if by any chance maybe accidents have happened here. So we're gonna creep up over here on the side. As you can tell, it's in really bad shape. We're gonna creep up over here and see if maybe we can catch something. These buildings are all beat up. Is anyone here in the water slides? Let's see if I can find the recording. With you. You're a little investigator, aren't you? We'll have to listen back to that. Your pen and then the cutter off the That is too cool. I did not hear that. Do you need any help? What keeps you here? You need to speak clearly into these devices. Sometimes you may see me ask the same questions because I'm, I'm not hearing a good answer, like I can't tell if you're speaking to us or if it's the radio. So I'm going to need you to really manipulate this device and use that white noise to speak. Can you say where we are one more time? I need you to say it all together so that I can understand that that's what you're saying. I know. I'm hearing cuts like it cut off. What did you die of? I don't know. We are walking and can hear you. Do you haunt the people in the campgrounds? The rumor is that people are being disturbed while they're sleeping in their tents. Do you know who's doing that? Can you ruffle up the bushes so that I can see where you are? 
Like really shake the bushes. Shake it to where I know it's not wind. Calling out to all spirits that reside at the Larry and Penny Thompson Park. Calling out to all spirits that reside at the Larry and Penny Thompson Park. What is your name? What is your name? You know. You know. What did you die of? What did you die of?